Hey, this is a very critical video. If you're looking to step into the real estate game, not just Dubai, but anywhere else in the world, I wanna give you Dubai specific examples in this one because some of my subscribers are asking me for Dubai specific examples, okay? So off the top of my head, whatever example fits in the Dubai context, I will give that to you, okay? This video is talking about cash flow or flipping properties. Which one's gonna ultimately benefit you in the short, medium, and long term, okay? I'm gonna give you a opinionated answer. If you're looking for either of these strategies to work for you, look, there is a link below, hit it, click it, let's talk, see if we can work together. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon, and show us some love in the comment section. Show real first. All right, guys, welcome back. So when you're investing in real estate, Dubai, Mumbai, Lahore, London, Toronto, New York, whichever country you might wanna pick up, which strategy generally is the most preferred by seasoned investors? I'm gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown on both the cash flow side and buying distressed assets and flipping them, okay? Most investors will generally match both of these as you get more experience. You want both of these in your portfolio. Now, just to give you an idea on what general cash, cash flow is. Look, cash flow allows for a drip, 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 drip of money coming into you, your pocket, your bank account at the end of the day on a week on week, month on month, year on year, basis, right? It just keeps flowing, which means you've got a great property that you've rented out. You've got a tenant in there. The tenants pay the rent every day, every week, every month, every so on and so forth. And you're getting this steady flow of cash flow coming into you, okay? What is flipping a property? Flipping essentially means going into a property, buying at a 30% discount or a 40% discount quickly making some repairs and renovations, and then reselling it for a windfall of money that comes instantly. And then obviously you go in to perhaps repeat the process, so on and so forth, okay? Now, how do, how do both of these actually work in principle, okay? Let's talk on the flipping side, okay? You're actually looking to buy a very good priced property, almost distressed at 30% less than market rate. You're going to buy it and then flip it. How do you generally do? You've got to have a network of agents that offer you distress properties. Distress is a local word or international word for just properties that need to be sold quickly. You want to have resellability in that property. And then, as I said, your network, not just to acquire properties, but to also resell those properties, you need a steady flow of network with your agents. Essentially speaking, how does this work? You buy a property that's worth 100 for 70. You pay a few costs associated with a few things. You pay about 77 to acquire it. And then you go back into the market and you sell it for a let's say you sell it for 97 because you might not achieve 100, you've made about 20 as profit, okay? Just keeping the numbers simple, you've made about 20 as profit, okay? Now here's the diddly, okay? How does the cash flow situation work, okay? I'm just saying, by the way, it, it, it might not sell at 97. I'm, I'm gonna do a slight correction here, guys, okay? Let's say you sell at 97 and you've got to spend three more dirhams to sell it at 97. Your net profit is going to be about 17%. I'm just going to mark it at 20%, okay? Just to keep the numbers really simple, okay? So I'm just saying 20% because I know people would come to me and correct me. Now, let me give you an actual example of where you might be able... Hey, let's bring it a little bit here so that... I can run more examples here, okay? So let's bring it here. 
okay where would you pick up a distress unit with great resellability okay for this i would generally target prime areas and central areas actually to be honest with you i wouldn't discount non-central areas because you know a genuine distress it doesn't really matter where you're buying it as long as your pocket can afford it and you genuinely genuinely actually with the market data know that you can resell it in a one month time or two months time so i wouldn't say like hey only target downtown because maybe you've got a five million kitty so you could target two and three bedrooms in downtown you might hold it a little longer but if generally 30 percent less if a property is worth five million and you pick it up for 3.5 you're going to be easily be able to sell it back in the market about four million you might have to wait a little bit longer but you'll easily be able to sell it about four four point five similarly you could go into the lesser lesser areas which are far off like dubai sports city or jumeirah village circle or arjan at the end of the day you're picking up distress units and you're going to flip them so it doesn't really matter where you're buying you might have certain preferences on your own the cash flow scenario what are you doing here you're identifying a good property in a good location good rental incomes obviously you want it at a good price and then good management so good price good management remember we're targeting good cash flow so rental coming in good exits good exits if you want to resell that property okay um, and then repeat the cycle right get more properties in keep your eye on the future keep your eye on the future so that if it's required to sell a property it doesn't mean that because you're in the cash flow game you're never going to sell the property you can if it's required to sell you would sell the property there's no big deal about that you can always sell the property okay um, and then repeat the process okay with this kind of methodology what's going to be happening you're going to be making in the dubai market six to seven percent return year on year okay so you can make about nine percent but i'm just saying six to seven percent after you deduct all the other costs associated now you can add a lot of value okay you can add a lot of value to take this to nine percent or ten percent okay so short-term rental furnish the apartment do all the things that are necessary to actually help yourself get more money coming in now Here's the thing. Let's do a little quick comparison, okay? So let's say you flip properties over. So again, let's just do how much money you would actually make. Cash flow versus flipping, okay? So let's say you do one property every year and you do 20% at every property, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten and then you've got about a seven percent return over ten years which comes to about seventy percent okay this would generally come to about two hundred percent here's the deal you're not going to hit sixes on all of them right? some of these you're going to actually lose out so i would be even tempted to go more than that but let's just go with five one two three four five so you're at a hundred percent let's say on your capital gain okay so, and you're at a 70 percent on capital gain here now here's the here's the tricky part not the tricky part here's the thing though at 70 percent you've got at least one property two properties or three properties because what would happen is as you're gaining this money you would go from property one to property two in year seven and by year ten seven years let's let's just say five to seven years okay so let's just say five five to seven years you could do it faster and then property three in e by year 10 years okay so now what you have is if each of these properties have gone up by 30 30 30 you have 70 plus 90 equal to 160 percent 
Okay, this is just my gut feeling. Now, as I said, uh, not just gut feeling, this is how I do, I do the numbers. Think about this, right? You're flipping, 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 flipping. Let's say that you actually don't get five of them wrong. You only get four of them wrong, okay? This even worked out. You're still gonna be at 120%, whereas here you own three assets, which means what? Marry the two. Sometimes you're gonna have to have assets that are giving you good cash flow. Hold on to them, right? Don't be in a distressed situation where you want to sell them fast. Let them give you the money that's supposed to come to you, okay? Sometimes you buy and sell, buy and flip, buy and sell, buy and flip, and that's pretty okay as well, okay? I would suggest marry these two, okay? Oh, by the way, on the cash flow side, it doesn't really matter, but choose the good locations, JVC in the affordable section, Arjan, but choose good buildings. In the up and coming areas, Creek Beach, right? I would have a Creek Beach or Creek Harbor. Does that make sense? Right? So these are real, real world examples. I hope this has made sense. Look, if you're looking to purchase a property in Dubai, hit the link below, just click it. Let's talk. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and show some love in the comment section. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.